Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for inviting me to address you on the occasion of the Vincenzo Dona Award, dedicated this year to sustainability and the green economy. I'm pretty certain that when Vincenzo Dona founded the Italian consumer movement, one of the driving ideas was to make the right to choose a reality for consumers. Price is such a straightforward way to compare products and make choices. But people are becoming increasingly concerned about the impacts of the products we use on the environment and on the health. It has become clear that the cost of a product cannot be evaluated simply on the basis of what is written on the price tag. But that makes our purchasing decisions much more complicated. Today, consumers are asking more and more questions, and they expect answers. Where do, they, where do the raw materials used to make the products I buy come from? Are they safe? Will they last or will I have to buy a new one next year? Will these products help me save money on my electricity and water bills? Or will I have to pay more? Where will they end up once I finish using them? Will I find them in my backyard or in the water I drink? Consumers have the right to accurate, clear, easy and understandable information. And most importantly, they must be able to make decisions based on comparing different products. Today, consumers have access to so much more information than they did in the past. Consumer associations like the Unione Nazionale del Consumatori are helping to make that information manageable. But we must do more and we must make sure that this information is reliable, credible and easy to understand. There are more than 400 environmental labels used worldwide, some trustworthy, some not, some are clear, some less so. This multiplication of initiatives is not good for consumers, who lose the confidence in these labels. And it is not good for companies either, as they are left with the cost of this meeting many different sets of labeling requirements and for little reward on the market, again, due to the lack of confidence. We need to create some order if we are to avoid widespread cynicism. The European Commission is taking steps to change the situation. Through eco-design, we are setting minimum environmental standards to be met by products sold on the European market and by linking it to the energy label, it informs consumers about the energy efficiency of equipment that they buy. This tool is well known and understood by consumers and it is delivering impressive results. We are now starting to go beyond just energy efficiency by integrating other important objectives such as durability, recyclability, reusability, as well as water efficiency and emissions to air. We are focusing on where the real environmental impacts are and we are focusing on what is important for consumers. I hope that you all know and recognize the European Ecolabel flower logo. This is a voluntary label which gives consumers a trustworthy, independently validated basis to choose products with a reduced environmental impact. Since it started in 1992, it has grown to cover 31 product groups from major areas of manufacturing to tourist accommodation services. Besides setting benchmarks for good environmental performance, it also helps consumers to contribute towards sustainable consumption based on analysis of the full life cycle of products. And finally, speaking of life cycles, this year we launched a new idea to measure the product environmental footprints. We are starting with a three-year pilot of 10 product groups. The aim is to develop product and sector specific rules and to test different approaches for business to consumer and business to business communication in collaboration with stakeholders. The idea is to use these common rules to build trust in other eco labels that want to sign up to use them. Ladies and gentlemen, when we asked Europeans in a survey, most said that they want to make the green choice. But 48% almost half of them, also said that they just don't trust labels anymore. So, as Kermit the Frog said in his well-known song, it is not easy being green. 
I hope that the winners of the Vincenzo Donna Award will be of inspiration in Italy and in the European Union for making it easier for us all to be green. I wish you a successful and enjoyable event.